That's the whole guide. You've seen everything. Now you're an options god. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags. And it's Friday night and we're still grinding. We're gonna be taking a look how to get options data from the TD Ameritrade API into Python. This is the full guide, everything you need to know. Now this is important. So if you've seen my equity screener video, let's say you take equity signals and then that cues you to trade options and you have a particular options trading methodology like you like to sell puts 45 to 90 days from expiration at strike prices below the money. Something like that's going to allow you to pull specific options data for all those expirations and the strike prices you want. So let's dive straight into it. All right, first thing we want to do is give a shout out to Alex Golek for writing the TDA API library. If you Google TDA, TDA API docs, you can pull up his documentation here. Very robust. So of course, import your modules and then run the authentication flow from the setup video if you haven't seen that check it out and then we're ready to get started with our get option chain command here we're going to pull exxon mobile and we're going to pull some call option data down and then we're just going to print that json data out take a look at what it looks like all right very nice so you're also able to change your contract type here if you just look at the contract type um, there's a couple different contract types that are available you can do put calls or all and then I'll show you exactly where that data is inside of that structure. So let's just go with all, take a look at the dictionary keys, and then this is gonna give us a bunch of different information that we can grab as well. So all of your strike, or all of your expiration data is gonna be living inside of this call expiration date map, put expiration date map. And as you can see here, there's a ton of data per contract. So of course the, the option type, the symbol, got some expiration data pricing data got some volume data depth information there you go your volume here um, they got some ball data and then of course some Greeks open interest and then um, some other various data so let's just take a quick let's just take a little deeper dive here and some of the stuff that we're seeing here um, you can grab the symbol out of there no problem you can grab the underlying price of Exxon no problem and then the number of contracts you know on the call and put side together because um, we're looking at all so that number of contracts gonna have both sides okay then what we can also do is look at the individual option uh, each side of the the chain if you will so the put expiration date map is gonna have a bunch of expirations listed and then each expiration has a bunch of strikes listed under it so we can take a quick look at that uh, same thing with your um, call date map of course if you look at the keys on the call expiration date map you can see that it's a bunch of different expirations and so inside of each of these you know expirations is another dictionary that contains a bunch of strike prices um, and so you can print out the specific expiration just like that and then we're going to put that in and then take a look at what strikes are available here this is what all strike prices of specific contract i guess specific expiration date um, cycle would be more appropriate so this lists uh, all strike prices at that specific expiration and then we can grab the specific strike price out of there which is what this code does here and then if we combine our specific expiration and our specific strike price we can grab just the exact option data specific expiration specific strike all right now there's some other functionality here you can see um, they've got some other parameters to help you get different types of data so one thing they do is you can get all options with a specific strike price um, around us uh, the spot price so here we have our strike count it's 10 and that's going to be basically five strikes above the money and then five strikes below the money but then if we wanted to just check to see if our strike price range works we can see that it's got 10 strike prices here and then our at the money is kind of right here in the middle of those strike prices so 
that'll give you a range around specific strike prices. All right, moving on, family. They also allow you to get spread data. So um, very interesting, very interesting. The data takes a little bit of different shape. Um, there's different keys in the data here. So as you can see, there's nothing listed inside of the call expiration date map and put expiration date map. Everything lives um, in a different dictionary. We'll just dive in here. But what we can quickly see is that um, they have the bid and ask for the spread itself. So um, just quickly, let's just take a look at here. It says strategy and it's a vertical spread. And if we just go to the docs, you can really just click into option strategy see that there's a ton of different option strategies listed so you can definitely take take a look in there and then the interval as you can read here is just the width of the strikes um, for you know if you're looking at spreads and then we can see our bid and ask let's take a look at the data so you have your primary leg here you got your secondary leg here um, so it has each of the legs that are used in the strategy there and then we can just take a look at what where where this is living so here's our monthly strategy list which this has different let's see what does this have different x so this is by expiration so now this is not yeah this is by expiration so you have the zero here so this is your first expiration for your verticals so like the first expiry of your verticals these are the keys that go along with that and then all of your data that we're seeing up here lives inside of this option strategy list it's a dictionary um, so you can call so you can call that but just to get an idea of how many expirations that we can look at verticals for um, this code here will take a number of expirations that verticals are available for and it only gives you five so um, obviously there's way more expirations on Exxon uh, but they're only giving you five for the verticals and then we can also take a look at the days to expiration so the most they can do for verticals is 41 days out you can calculate them manually with the code you know above you just have to figure out that um, shouldn't be too difficult so anyways all the spread data is going to be living in that option strategy list so if we take a look we can get our front expiration spread data which is here inside a monthly strategy list the front expiration here and then inside of the option strategy list and that's going to be just exactly what we are seeing um, here it's all of our our spread data and of course if you want to take a look at the next or the last expiration here that's available that'll be your back you know you got your ex, your april expiration there no problem okay now enough of these verticals i'm getting sick and tired of it let's take a look at some covered calls here so i'm just using a similar code here i'm looking at the fourth x let's see the fourth expiration here for the covered calls all of these are listing in the money so it's a little bit confusing but we saw that the underlying price was around 74 or 78 i don't know let's see yeah that looks like that looks about right so you can look at the covered call data here you can see the price of your covered calls uh, so three dollars and then that's about a month out so be able to collect some premium there so if you want to look at data for a single expiration um, you can run you can run that so this gives us one strike price it's 80 and it gives a bunch of expirations so it gives you all of the expirations that's available and they only have the 80 strike now if we want to get specific month expiration only we can look at expiration month for april i guess you know i can i can refer to the docs here for you guys so if you're looking at strikes you can see here you can put your strike in and then we were looking at month so that was specific expiration month here and then you can see expiration month dot 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 here it is at the bottom and you click it and then it gives you all the enumerations for the month that you'd like to use and then 
we just use this code here to specify your expiration month and then it gives us all of our April options as we can see here just a whole ton of April options so very exciting moving on fam I'm gonna just turn on our date time object here this is set to June 9th of this year and then there's two last commands this allows us to get all expirations after a specific date so if you want to get option chains that expire after June 9th and you use this from date and then it accepts a date time object and also I think a date object as well um, uh, date time dot date and date time dot date time here so you got your from and then of course you got to uh, which basically here gives you uh, options prior or expirations cycles prior to the date listed um, so there's that and then just to get a look at that for y'all plug this code right here it's gonna give us all the chains before June 9 and then here we have them here it goes from March to May and then of course converse for from day it's gonna give you all of the options after that all right fam that's the whole guide you've seen everything now you're an options god and now you can go celebrate because it's a friday night baby let's get these bags <laughs>